Hello, this is episode number nine of the Dragonbone series, and today we'll be looking at something new but also familiar. We'll be animating an arm again, but this time instead of being like the first two tutorials, episodes, which it was a mechanical arm, this time it will be a, let's call it an organic arm. So I've already prepared the image, file. This time I'm going to file it, um, import the asset straight to stage. Here it is, organic arm with tattoo. Yes, there's a reason I put a tattoo on it so we can observe some deformations better. Now, so here it is, it's just one image. Instead of last time where we had three components to put the mechanical arm together, this time we'll just be working on one. So um, first of all, just to remind people, I've gone to preferences and I've turned off in general the bone auto bind image. So whenever I draw, draw a bone hierarchy, it doesn't auto attach the images to the bones. Let's go. So we know now in the workspace, we go up to the top um, top right here and we go to the third little tab, which is called create bone. And what do I do? I start creating the hierarchy, the bones. Uh, let me turn off the root first. We always turn that off. So we're, so we've got create bone and the, or we can press E and shoulder. Oh, first mistake. I have to hold down and drag shoulder to elbow. I'll leave it there. Zoom in a bit. And while it's still selected, I continue the second bone, which is from the elbow to the wrist, somewhere here. Yeah. And the third will be just a generic bone for the hand. And right click to deselect. And as you can see, because I haven't really created separately the thumb and the fingers and everything, I just have one bone just to wave the hand up and down. Now, what is the problem we have here? Unlike the first uh, two episodes where we attached each component of the mechanical arm to each bone, we can't really do that here like this. So we can't just say, take this image and where's it gonna be attached? Because if I drag this and attach it to, let's say the first bone, what do I do? So I can start animating and the whole thing moves. Okay, but what happens if I move this? Come on, there we go. Nothing happens. What happens if I attach the picture to the second bone. Okay, so if I now move the first bone, it works. Why? Because this bone is driving the second one and the image is attached to that. But if I select the second bone and rotate it, no, this is wrong. So we need to find another way of attaching the bone, this one image to all three bones. This is where we're gonna look at today about mesh, how to create a mesh and deform it based on the bones. Now we select the image and while we select it, if we look at the properties panel to our left, there's a little tab here called mesh. Let's select it. Cool. And while we selected it, we get new options called edit mesh, reset and add bone to bind. Let's start off with edit mesh because we want to convert this square image. Although you all see only an arm, it is a square image, only that the rest of it is transparent. But as a code, as an art asset, it's just a square image. Edit Mesh, and while we press Edit Mesh, a new little tab, little window appears in the center and the bottom center of the workspace. And it has, let's have a look at it. So it says Edit Mesh, Deform is on, of course, we want to deform. And there are three buttons to the left and two to the right. The first three are Modify, Create, and delete, this is the edit mesh. And deform is new edge and reset. We're gonna start it with deform because we wanna, we wanna deform. Let me just go ahead and work on it and you can see, I select this and it comes out saying manual recreation alone. Recreate mesh outline will delete all existing vertices on current selected image. Are you sure you want to recreate it manually? Yes, because I haven't done anything, it's the first time. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And what I'm gonna do, imagine this was like in, like you were working arts and crafts in real life and you had a little scissors now and you have to cut around it. Although this was plastic, you know, it's like transparent, you still wanna cut around it and work on it. So I'm gonna start cutting around the image now. And the idea is to add more points where you want the image. Let me undo this now. I hope I haven't added any points, good. We want more points, 
more um, accessibility, we want to deform the elbow and the wrist and the rest a little less, maybe some here on the bicep. So I'm going to go back to Edit Mesh and I'm going to start cutting, cutting around. All right, so we want here, we want there. We want a few points here up on the, on the bicep with the format. And then not really much around here because it's just an arm floating in space. Maybe a few here at the back where the tricep is. Of course, on the, on the bottom side here at the, on the elbow. Keep it a bit simple while running across the forearm then a bit of detail here on the wrist because this is where it's going to bend and then suddenly not much around the hand because we really haven't made we don't have fingers and stuff so we're just going to move the hand like it's um, you know just one soft hand back to the wrist yes we're going to add some detail less detail running down the fore and again detail on the inside of the elbow here and right click to finish Have a, yes and if I selected it now you can see it's all cut off cut around nicely this is where deformation comes in now we have to, what we do the goal is to attach these points to each bone but some of them will be attached 100 percent so they'll be, they'll be what we call influenced to each bone so if this bone if this point here is attached to this bone 100 percent it will keep exactly the same distance and orientation whatever the bone does but if i select let's say what this point and add it 50% to both it will be influenced by both bones and while we work through this tutorial you will all get a grasp of this I'm also not finished with my deformations because what happens I want to add a second row on the inside the reason is because if I only have this point and move it this is what happens it grabs it influences everything in between I need to start cutting in between here and putting less and less influence like if you all look at your own arm and suddenly you know do like like a nice get your bicep pump up nicely it doesn't pull all the skin all the way from the back from the tricep it pulls the part on the top and then it has less influence as it goes further here and then none towards the back so I have to go back go to edit mesh and start adding a second row maybe even a third now now that we've done the deformation, I'm not going to add, if I add new mesh and start clicking to the middle, no, that was wrong, we don't want that. This is where we use the second button called create, okay, it's like creating nodes, new nodes. So now I'm going to go on the inside of the line and start, nope, that wasn't it, sorry. Edit mesh, it's actually modify, no, it's add, add node. Yes, I, I sorry, I hit the wrong um, mouse button. I hit the right my I I hit the route um, the right mouse button instead of the left. So now I'm going to go on the inside and maybe go a bit closer and do this and sort of do the equivalent of each point on the outside running on the inside of the line like that. I'm going to go around and create this while using, as I said, the second one here where we're adding now nodes into the mesh. Um, this should seem quite um, familiar to many of you who are used to using 3D packages and doing modeling there where um, you're used to having meshes and vertices and stuff. So I don't need to go all the way around because there's going to be no influence here. I'm just going to do this and go back here. So let me run around on the inside mm -hmm. and do this. That's cool. And while I'm there, I'm going to now do another line running, running in the middle. So maybe like this some points like this and you can see right away as I'm adding the nodes it's automatically creating the vertices that go with it did I say vertices I mean edges right there we go and now right click to finish good let me select it now we can see the outline and all the nodes we have created that's cool let me of course file save project as and where do I save it to Dragomo's episode 9 of course I'm going to call this organic arm yeah mm. oh no I'm choosing the folder right now sorry go away select folder yes and that's where I put the name copy library yeah okay it's one image I don't mind and it's there so very that's very cool still nothing's happened if I go back to the bones let's see and use pose 
they're not they're not connected. How do we connect it? Well, this here we go. What do we do now? We select the image we've um, we've um, sort of prepared, cut up, deformed, and you might be asking, how do I know exactly how to create which the amount of dentist density in the points and what to, where to cut up? This is actually based on experience. Um, just do tons of little exercises with simple things that begin, like you know, you want to have a little nice little um, spike or something, a little a rod. Start with little things like like this arm exercise is very simple, just a little thing, a little blob, just to get used to where to create density and points based on your bone hierarchy. Uh, it, you just have to do a lot of little exercises. So we create, we select now the image, which is now cut up and prepared. And we go back to, we don't go to edit mesh this time, we go to add bone to bind. Now, while it's selected, we select this, and now it's waiting for us to click on which bones are gonna be associated with this cut up mesh. So I'm gonna select one, two, three. And you can see it's color coding them. And once you've selected the bones you want to, they appear in the list here. And you just have to, have to right click and it's gonna start processing on its own. And it says, wait, calculating, complete. What does that mean? It's sort of automatically, um, depending on the distance of each point to the bone, added a very smooth balance between everything, which means if we start animating that, the arm, it's gonna be like a sausage. It's gonna look horrible, but that's how it starts off with. Let me show. If I select this point here, you see what happens? Well, the whole arm goes, but if I select this, um, edge here. Here you go. It's working, but it's very funny and horrible because it's that's not how it really works, but it's a starting point. And how can we see this? If we select on the image, it now color codes every vertus and it shows a little wheel with the three colors on it showing divide like, okay, this point here, we can see by looking at the properties panel, it's influenced 66% by this green bone, which we, should, we could have named and orange or brown to this one here, 33%. But if I click on this one, it's, there you go, the other way around. And what about this one here? Or this one here? This one here. You can see, oh, this one's influenced by three bones suddenly, even 5% by the other one. So it's a bit of a mess. We need now to start changing the values in each one. And some, some of you might go, do I have to do it one by one? S on some points, yes, but we, we can, grab some points all together. Like you don't want to go like this one, go like, I want this one to be this one, you know, move this up and down and the other one, it's going to take years. But believe me, people who set up rigs for animating characters and stuff do spend a long time doing that. We can use a little shortcut for generically doing this. So I can, I can select the fourth button, which is the weights, and I can draw a box around some of them. Maybe by holding the control down, select a few more, and say, you know what? I'm sure I'm going to select this and this and this and this and this. These, I want these to be 100% influenced by this. Now, it doesn't work by doing this. What you do, the shortcut is once you've selected them and you still have, you can see your mouse tab here, it's still in weights mode. You click, you hold down the left mouse button somewhere. No, no, that's not right. No, you select the points, you select the bone you want. And then see the icon on the mouse, the little thing here has changed. You Now you hit down the left mouse button somewhere, hold it down and drag upwards. And while you drag upwards, it changes the influence of all the bones to that one. If I drag downwards, oh, it's done, so it's over. So it's gone 100% and right click. Let me see now. So these points now are 100% influenced by that. Let me go to the ones now again. Um, in the middle of the forearm like this, select maybe even these. Now I select, any more points? I select the forearm bone, it, the mouse um, pointer, the pointer changes. I hold down the left mouse button somewhere in space and drag it upwards. And that fills up all the percentage wheels of each point to 100 and then right click. And I'm gonna go again to this, select the ones on the hand like this, select the bone at the end, the pointer has changed. I hold down the left mouse button somewhere on the grid and drag it upwards until all the values have gone to 100 and then right click. Now, let's test this again. It's gonna look horrible, but bear with me. 
um, we need to go to pose mode. Ah, I, sorry, I have to select the bone first. Go to pose. Okay. Now we can see the the points in between we've done. What at feel more normal? They are um, influenced 100% by the bone they belong to, and the only ones now we have to work on are the ones in between. So again, I'm going to press save. Go to weights mode. Hit. And now go hit the um, arm, the image, and now just work on these. Now, what do I want? I want these to be influenced nicely. Let's have a look. Um, let's test this out again one more time. I'm going to select the bone first. Select the bone. There we go. Um, go to pose and have a look. What do I need? Hmm. What do I need? I need these ones from zero slowly work the way there and the other one there. So I'm going to go to po um, to weights and I want you and you and you and you and you to be way more influenced. Not 100% but you can see what I'm doing because what I'm doing if the ones next to it are 100% I want to slowly make them way down. So maybe just that much a little. And the other way around I'm going to select this, this and this and this one and select the green bone here which is the arm and go up and say there you go. Mostly influenced by this one and maybe a little bit of the other one. What has this done? Let's select the bone again. We select the bone and let's go to pose mode and see what we've done. Let's zoom out a bit. We're slowly getting there. You have to go back and forth and keep doing this to make sure what you're doing. Hmm. Is it working? Oh, let's go back again. Let's fix it. How do we fix this? Maybe if I do this and this and select on its bone and give it more over there. Maybe the one here in the middle, this one here, only is 100% on that one. I don't know why, that's how I felt. We select the bone again and go to pose mode and test it out again. It's slowly working. We're getting there. Now, I need to make something where when the arm is folding, I need to sort of pull these upwards. There's the issue I'm having because in real we have like we have to connect them the somehow fake and create the muscle um, uh, that's underneath the skin that sort of when it folds, it goes a bit upwards. It fills up this gap. How do we do this? Now this is where I'm going to create some extra bones hierarchies to influence other ones. What does that mean? Let me check one more time what's going on here. Mm, I think I'm going to select one more, this one here, and have it influenced way more by the green one, and this one also more. Mm -hmm. And let me one more time select the bone, go to this, and yeah, okay. So I need to make something while I'm bending this. These two points have to fill, it, fill in this gap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new bone um, right here, like that. Hmm. And I'm going to select this bone and attach it to this one. So right click, set parent, this. Okay. I'm um, just to know which what this is. I'm going to call this. Um, what do you call the front part of the elbow here? I don't know. I'm just going to call it because I don't know. Elbow, elbow filler, because I need to fill in that thing. Yeah, we do this. We name things the way that, that just make this. Not elbow. Oh, elbow. Elbow filler. And I'm going to select the arm again and go back to add bones to bind. And now add this. It's there. And right click. And what I'm going to do, create save. Um, look at the weights, no one's there influence, but I'm going to select now this point and this point and this this point and give them influence from here on the side. So, okay, this point and this point, I'm going to hit that bone, okay, I'll select both of them, hit that and give it some influenced. Mm. And what that does, and now I'm going to bring this down a bit. So now that I saw how it works, I'm going to undo this because I saw how, what happened with distance. I'm going to go back. 
I'm going to move this way up higher to make sure. There. Yeah. And now I'm going to go back to the image. I'm going to say add bone to bind at that. Okay. And then I'm going to select this point, this point, hit that. Did I do that? Add bone to bind. I'm going to select this point and this point and hit. Okay, what am I doing wrong this time? It worked last time. This point and this point. No, it's working. And then drag up so like that. Okay, and give it some influence like that much. That's pretty cool. And now I'm going to move this downwards there, back into place. So when I'm going to be animating this arm, I, all I need to do also is animate this. Let me, let me go back. So when I'm going to be animating this arm here, like that there maybe, and I've got a problem, I'm just going to be moving this a little bit just to correct the points. And remember, we're just doing cycle. So whenever this arm moves upwards, I'm going to give a keyframe to that and then go back to the, its normal place. So I'm going to use that to fill in the gap. I could do something similar to the bicep because we all know when we sort of curl our arm up, we have the bicep pointing. So I'm going to create another bone up here like this. I'm going to add that. I'm going to select it and say set parent again here. And now I'm going to go to the um, image, this image, and said add bones to buy and also hit this one. Now that's there. I'm going to call this bone. I'm going to name it you know, bicep. Is that how you spell it? I hope it is. And I'm going to select these points. I want this and 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 this to be influenced by that. Just a bit. And let's give it some more. There. And then I'm going to go now separately to each one like this and now remove some. So I want, let me go back. I want less and less influence on this. I'm going to remove it. Maybe only small, like 9%. I, I only did one. So I want, I'm going to type it in 5% on this and maybe the top one, five again. And on what's the, the middle one should be like, okay, let's say 50. But the one under the line should be like a little more. I'm going to say 45. So if this one is far, that one's 50. Somewhere in the middle, maybe like influenced 20 maybe. And what about you? Maybe 15, 20. And what, what about you? I'll give you again a, a four. And you should be a four again. I don't know why I chose four instead of five. And you should be 20. And you should be 20. So you're too much. Maybe you should be just like 35. And you should be 35. And I'm going to now move you down back there. Um, I said move. Why are you not moving? And we're back. Yes, something happened. I don't know what. So I had to save, you know, restart whatever um, project. And I left this in the video because this might happen to you. So um, it's a matter of just um, something with the selectability has happened. Um, so yeah, it's a first for me. So I'll just leave it in the video. And um, if it happens to you, just save your project, um, close uh, Dragonbones, reopen it again, and just keep working. So now what I can do, now I've set up a system where this bone is called bicep. This one is called, and you can see whenever we go into um, weights mode, then they get color coded and we can see the influence here. So what, what this is now, all that's left is for me to select these, um, these bones, give it an IK, 
there we go and I'm going to turn the selectability of the images off so we don't get confused so now that I select this IK here and as always I'm going to make it big another trick is you can if I haven't shown this before you can select the IK and actually give it some length and it turns into like a little handle puppet stick so instead of having a little dot there I can now have this and I can select this and do this so now I can animate my arm when I go to animation do that and then I can do this Whoop, there goes the muscle now you can see it looks like an iceberg popping up so I really need to go back and work a little more on the waiting so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna maybe up this a little more to 30 and this to um, 25 and this to 30 it does need a lot of a lot of work when you're doing waiting um, 25 to get it right let's see how it works is it still popping up like an iceberg now it's getting a bit better and from what I see I should have actually divided a bit more some points in between now I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna see can I now add points in between while I've done this work I'll try it I've saved the project I'm gonna edit mesh and I'm gonna add points now so I think I need I need to add one there and one there maybe and and maybe one there and one there and let's look at the, the waiting how are they done so if this one here is four and that is 30 I'll give this a weight of yeah it should have been done no nope. this is where I'm um, the part of um experience comes in like now that I've done this arm and I know how it works next time I should know that the parts from the solid part where the beginning of the little you know peak it needs more divisions because the, and then there's the you don't need much up here and then more here to get the nice curve going on but for now this is going to work so now that we've set up the arm similarly you we can set up and the wrist and let's have a look at that how it works okay I select the bone and yeah it needs a lot of work here so I'm gonna go ahead and um, again do the waiting here and I'm if it takes too long I'm gonna speed up this part of the video so you guys don't get bored with me okay that would do for now that's enough again I'm after this first run I would see that I would if this was a real project now or work on I would have gone now first of all the wrist is in the wrong place I need more points here and maybe I might also create a little thing like this to fill it, a little filler what I call so I'm gonna select this bone now and add one more IK for this one just out there so now we have mm, I've lost the other one with that reset I did didn't I so I'm gonna add it now here we go um, you hello come on bones you and you and turn the selectability of the images off put the IK back in we lost no that's not the one that's the one give it a bit of a scale 200 and turn it down this way so it's like a little puppet you know a little you know we have a little thing to control it there we go and this time what I'm going to do I'm going to also get this controller and I'm going to make it set can I from here set parent to this so now it moves around with the arm and all I need to do is just then locally give it its own animations there you go so we've got like this bone is the again let me do some renaming arm this one is b4 b4 arm this one here is B for bone hand yes and I'm going to call this this is the IK wrist and this one is IK IK hand mm-hmm and now I'm going to call these they're not 
they're not bones, they're part of the hierarchy. This is the, I've got to find a new way, um, new little thing. So every artist makes their own naming convention of how they work on their own or how they work in the team. So we could say that B's for bones, IK's for controllers, and these ones are called like, what should I call them? Hmm. Hmm. D for deformers. D. D is a deformer because they help the deforming. That's what they do. So we're going to put D for deformer. And yeah. There we go. So we're ready now. It was quick. You can understand that the more you sit and fiddle with how much you work with the weighting, the better it becomes. Now, all we have to do is go onto the animation side of the program and animate it. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to leave that for the next part where we just have to animate. It's going to be a much quicker video. This video is the first one hitting, I think, like 30 minutes or something. But um, you get an idea how the you select an image, you go to, um, when you select it, you go to um, mesh and you start working with the edit mesh, how it works, how it cuts up and how you attach the bones to it. You can use also bones for controlling the deformation. That's something good, so you can fake a bit of muscle movement. I'm gonna do that one more time here on screen, so you can see it. Imagine that I'm, ooh, that's pumping iron, yeah. And while, while it goes up there, at the same time, you also animate this. Yeah, look at my muscle, it looks like a peak, like an, like an iceberg. So we have to find a way how to nicely influence this. I do not like that one bit. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna take that down to 25 and also this one to 25 the same as its neighboring ones that that that's 20 how much is that that's on 20 that's on 20 that's on 20 that's on why is that 14 come on go to 20 oh that looks much better look at me muscles mm, 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 mm. all right so what i need to know is when it's down there this will be animated there and when it goes like halfway through maybe then this moves a bit we animate that and just like whoop, fill in the gap and move that a little bit and then we go back to idle you know we move them down so we always remember we we save the idle position and we we're like bumping iron i'm the hulk you can do that you might also similarly if you flex outwards completely fix the outside of the elbow and have the tricep popping out so this is a very very simple very basic minimal just like mesh deformation um, ed, um working with weights how we can add them you know assign them to some bone which bone they work with or how to group remember all together and click on it and also create bones for deforming the skin itself i hope you all had fun with this one i did and i'm it also had a little you know crash in the program so we also saw that too and i hope to see you in the next video which is going to be much shorter maybe only 10 minutes long maximum and we maybe flex that arm a bit and get some, you know, you know, pump some mind, some muscle movement going on. And I'm going to try to make that next video a bit more exciting. Maybe add some, I don't know, I might add some effects like um, when he's pumping a little, um, something appears, I don't know, on the arm, something magical. I'll try to make the next video exciting. Thank you, and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.